Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. On Sunday, after service here, I went to drop a, a cloth with my tailor. So on my way coming back, I entered Ikeke in Adalibu Junction there. So as I entered Ikeke, there was a lady beside me. I was the one in the middle. I entered, a man entered, and another man entered in the front. So we were going, I was like telling the Ikeke man, I will stop in Bogi, the primary school. So the Ikeke man, I told him, oh guy, is starting area because I don't want to get uh, arguing there. It's around to assist. When we get to the Bogidi Junction, I was telling the Keke Maoga, this is where I want to stop. I want to stop for you. Oga, now here I want to stop. It is speed. So when he said that they try react, like maybe people, I want to draw people's attention, they use something to cover my mouth. I slept off. So when I saw, when I realized, when I woke up, I saw myself in the bush. My hand was tied. My leg was tied, and the cloth I was putting on that day was just like this. It was a black long sleeve, and this scapula was inside. So when they tied my hand, I was struggling to bring out this scapula to pray. So I was shouting, Jesus, help me, oh God of us, of your mark, help me. Any sin that I have seen, please forgive me. Help me. Don't allow these people to take, to waste my life just like this. So I brought out this scapula. They were shouting for me, don't call that name here again. If you call that name here, eh, we'll cut one of your legs out. So I put the scapula on my mat. I was just praying. I didn't say anything again. Till the next day morning. On Monday morning, they opened, they, although they collected my phone and they switched it off. So the, the last call I received was my elder brother's wife. So they were on the phone. They were seeing text message on the phone. And they asked, who is this? Who is a, 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 a I said that it's my elder brother's wife. So they quickly switched off the phone back. They told that they were tracking the phone. So they switched off the phone back and they collected it. So I was still praying that God of free indeed manifest yourself. The God of free indeed I'm serving. Prove yourself in my life. Show yourself in my life. If you are the God, you have been doing it for others. Prove yourself. I want you to show yourself in this case. Don't allow these people to waste me. Prove yourself. I was, I was shouting in the bush like that. So, two of them, they were talking. At once, I saw them sleeping. The rope in my hand just loose. They slept off. And the angels of free indeed. The God of free indeed. The God of our Father and the Lord, Pastor Shomar, came to lose a rope. The men they were huge. At the night, I was hearing people screaming. They were shouting and they were clothes on the ground. They were bone. They were blood. So I don't know. I don't know how to explain now it. We can come there. You said just a prayer, calling upon the God. I was holding this scapula, shouting that the God. They slept. Off. Yes, I they said. Them. And when I got angry, so I started shouting that the God of free did manifest yourself. Prove yourself that you are the God that, that I'm serving. Prove yourself. Show yourself in my case. Wake up and prove yourself. Don't allow these people to take me. So, they slept off the rope of my hand loose. The rope of my leg loose. So I was hearing a voice. Run. Just run. When the rope had loose, the, the, I was hearing a voice start running. So when I stand up, I could not stand very well. So I was feeling very weak. I, I turned and looked. I saw my bag on the ground. I picked the bag. I didn't see my phone. So I was turning around to, to check if I can get the phone. So I saw the phone on the, the kidnappers and I collected it. Sleeping. 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 Yes. I collected the phone. Oh! Took the phone from her. Off the phone. She went back to the kidnapper. She went back to the kidnapper. She did not say, I am loose, let me run. Went back to the kidnapper. Said, Give me my phone. Pick the phone from the kidnapper. When I collected the phone, I was crawling. So I started crawling out of the place. When I, I, I crawled to a spot, so I stood up. I started running. When I was running, I ran to a place where there was three junctions. Your voice told you to run. Yes, there was a three junction inside the bush. So I didn't know the, whether I should pass my right 
left. I don't know. I just followed my left. So when I was running inside the bush, there's no miss for me. I think I'm not seeing anybody, just the bush. So I was using my hand. My hand became cutlass to, to be looking, to be scattering the gas so that I can pass. So when I when I, I saw a car just pass, I hear, I hear a sound of it was like from here to that fence, that side. So I started running straight. I was not looking back. I was just running straight. Things were shooting my leg. I, I, I keep on running. See, when I get, when I get to the, the under of the bridge, that's when I know that it was a bridge. So when I get on, under of the bridge, the place was dark. And my phone was 15%. So I owned it. I owned the torch. So I was using the torch to see. And there was a lot of sand on that place. That is why I, I, I fell down. If I even open my hair, you will see sand. There is a lot of sand on my hair now, right now. A, so I, I, I will fall, I will get up, I will fall. So I keep on, I told God, God of Rini, please give me strength to run. Give me strength to run. So I came out, when I came out, I find out that it was Otokutu Bridge here. Yeah. 